Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and I am back. This is the first video that I'm recording in my new place. I apologize if the audio is a little bit echoey. I'm in a much bigger room. I've ordered some sound suppression stuff, and, and I'll work on getting the audio better, but it's, it's literally my first day being fully set up here and, and recording here, so I, I will improve that. Um, the lighting should be a little bit better, but uh, before I dive into all of that, this video is going to be covering uh, my move and kind of what went on there, getting you up to date on this channel, and then also covering everything going on in game right now, the offers, and the golem tournament, and all of that stuff. I will get you fully caught up, so let's get into it. Alrighty, so yeah, uh, also I'll have a timestamp down in the vid description if you want to skip ahead to just me going over the in-game stuff but um i you know for my subscribers i do want to just give a quick update on kind of what was going on um yeah i had to pick up and move because of internet issues i literally had to break a lease and move into a new apartment and so the last week has been insane for me and of course it happens while i'm in the affinity cup and basically can't do anything all i'm doing is running around town looking at apartments on phone calls, uh, I couldn't stream or anything. Uh, I think I went like five or six days without streaming, but I was able to get everything done in about, yeah, six days from start to finish. I think last Sunday is when I started my apartment search. And then as of today on Friday, I am moved in fully. So the whole process was five days uh, and it was definitely a crazy process, but I'm glad the hard part is over now. It's just kind of some small organizing, cleaning type stuff, but all the difficult things are done. But yeah, so first of all, I picked out an apartment and signed a lease and, uh, and, and paid them and everything. And that was uh, this one here. So I was supposed to move into this apartment. Well, um, I told them I wanna move in somewhere where I have fiber optic internet because I just got done dealing with a nightmare with cable internet. Uh, it basically quit working to the point where I would be able to stream. Uh, my upload speed was just crashing. It was terrible. I was constantly disconnecting. My VOD is on Twitch. You can see where I was disconnecting like every minute. And they basically told me they can't help me because the wiring is bad. So I said, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm a content provider. I'm moving in to a new building with fiber optic internet. And I told them that's all I care about. Uh, I'm a single guy with no kids, no pets. Uh, I j really all I care about is can I do my gaming and can I do my content? Um, so I picked out this apartment that I liked right here. And uh, when I called my internet provider to set up internet, they were like, that's not fiber optic internet. That's normal coax cable internet. And it's literally the same thing I just got done uh, dealing with and moving out of so I was like <laughs> so I they I confirmed with them like five times I'm like you're sure it's fiber internet they're like yeah 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 well they felt bad they were like wow I can't believe like you told us that's the one thing you care about and we messed it up and put you in the wrong unit so they did let me out of my lease uh that I signed for like six hours and uh and even though I paid and everything they were like you know we'll, we'll refund your money all that because <laughs> I basically got lied to um so then I, I had to start my search all over again and uh, ended up settling on this one. This is a picture I took uh, yesterday after the movers. It kind of brought everything. I did everything I could do by myself. Um, I didn't have any friends to help me or anything. And I just have a little car. Uh, so I had to take like 12 trips just of a bunch of small stuff. Uh, you know, fill up my car, drive over here, unload it. Fill up my car, drive over here, unload it. Did that like 12 times. Um, and then this was after I finally had everything kind of in here and uh, it doesn't show it It only shows like the living room um, But but yeah, then uh, This is what my uh, my streaming set setup looks like now like as of recording this video This is what it looks like. So um, uh, you can see it's a little bit bigger area um, This is the old setup here. There we go. So yeah, that's my old setup. You can see I'm much more scrunched in um, it was a smaller apartment and uh, the, the, the lighting was really close to me. The wall was really close. Uh, you can see here with the new one, the lighting is further away from my face. My lighting should be a little bit better, but it also causes a little bit of an echo. So I got to work on uh, you know getting some suppression stuff and all that. But uh, overall, it'll be a good thing. It was just uh, my life was in upheaval for a week or so. And it, it really kind of screwed me over in being active in the Affinity Cup because there's just no way I could have spent hours a day managing the Affinity Cup account um, so, so thankfully, uh, my good friend Darth Microtransaction did his best to help me. I have to touch base with him and kind of figure out what's going on with the Affinity Cup, 
what he was able to do and all of that. Uh, so I'll, I'll touch base with him and I'll, I'll do my best to uh, kind of pick up where I left off. It's just kind of an unfortunate thing I had to go through kind of right in the middle of everything, literally in the middle of the Affinity Cup, not even the beginning or the end. It was right in the middle. So uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll touch base with him and, and we'll get back to streaming the Affinity Cup stuff. And, uh, and participating in that and, and doing as good as I can to kind of help my team out. Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to be behind. I know that just given, uh, you know, this week and how crazy it's been, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be hard for me to catch up. But I'll do my best. That's all we can do, right? But yeah, um, I'm excited to be back to normal. Excited to get back to streaming every day. I really missed streaming and interacting with everybody. And I've, as of now, I should be back to daily video, daily stream, and kind of life as usual moving forward. So now this is where I have the timestamp link to for those people that just wanted to hear the in-game stuff going on and get the raid updates. So uh, we had the Golem Tournament go live after the Dragon Tournament. And I, I predicted that even though the Dragon Tournament did not have a book or a shard involved on the guaranteed side of the rewards, I thought the Ice Golem did because it's a dungeon that is much worse in terms of player incentive to grind it. And that did end up happening. We at least get an epic book this time on the right side. We did not in the Dragon Tournament because the Ice Golem is not nearly as good, especially for endgame players in terms of you know, how uh, how desirable it is for you to farm it because it doesn't have like speed and lifesteal. Stalwart uh, is viable in some endgame clan boss stuff. It's just not as good of a dungeon. So that's why we get the epic book. It, it can be worth it to get the book in, in this event. Uh, it's never a bad idea to grab epic books and legendary books when you can. So uh, I would at least consider going to the 2750. Uh, maybe if you're free to play, maybe skipping it. But uh, if, if you've got some resources and stuff, it's never a bad idea to go for books. Uh, the one nice thing that's good about golem tournaments is they're usually a lot easier to win um like in, in my dragon group there was like three people over 2,000 points the first day uh now you can see in this group under the same circumstance everyone's at like 400 200 100 and there's only 10 people that have even gotten to 100 so the golem tournaments are a lot easier to win in terms of getting relentless gear so do keep that in mind if you're a relentless chaser this is kind of your best opportunity to get those because golem tournaments are not near as sought after as like dragon and spider and then in terms of events we've got two of them going on champion training event and dungeon divers event you're going to want to keep an eye on the dungeon divers one specifically because you only got about a day and a half left on this and uh you've got an opportunity to get an epic book and a void shard so never a bad idea to go after maybe the golem double dip a little bit dungeon divers but do remember these do count in the campaign so if you're a brand new player it's a good idea to farm up xp instead of grinding dungeons and you can double dip and kind of work towards your dungeon divers while you're getting xp uh the champion training event the rewards are really good we're getting void sacred we're getting wow well, i mean look at these epic book void shard sacred shard legendary book that's really really good um one of the best reward structures we've ever seen in a champion training event, but it's very, very tough. 25,000, that's a lot to get to. Um, obviously, with everything I've had going on, uh, I barely played Raid the last week or so. I was basically just doing like my clan boss keys and uh, trying to record a video in the morning and then getting to work. Uh, so I wasn't really playing much Raid for the last week. Um, and so I'm not, I haven't gone super hard in the paint getting after this. Um, I've got four days to think about it. I might start grinding some food. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of stretched a little bit thin with wanting to win the Golem Tournament, but it looks like my group is winnable. So you got to kind of gauge all this stuff. How is Portland, is the, is the Relentless set to you? Uh, is your group realistic to be winnable? If your tournament group is not very realistic to win, like if you have a whale, like someone who's on the global leaderboard or something, uh, maybe just focus on champion training instead and go after these four rewards here. That would be your energy better spent towards going that route instead of trying to force yourself into a whale war in the ice golem tournament or something. But now let's back out and fire up these offers. I know there was a good daily offer, I remember from when I was streaming, so I'm excited to cover that. We've got, um, where are we at? So let's pull that up, okay. And yeah, this is the one I wanted to go over because I, if I remember right, this is a pretty good one. We've got 15 and we've got 2250 and we've got 15 energy refills, okay. Yeah, a 2.13. So 
anytime a pack involves energy and shards, that's always the big things that you want to acquire for account progression. Um, anytime energy and shards is over 2.0, that's typically the best offers you're going to get in terms of long-term sustained account progression, in my opinion. So this daily pack is definitely a thumbs up from me. Um, now, $15 is not cheap, but if you're the type to spend money on raid, if you are looking for money to spend, this is pre a pretty good uh, you know, opportunity to spend that in terms of energy and shard progression towards your account. Uh, the mini mix pack, we don't have to go over. The bonus sacred pack, this is an absolute meme. This is only for whales. Um, if you are conscious at all about your spending, do not buy this in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I would like to word it in a nicer way, but I, uh, I don't know how to spin this one. <laughs> I don't know how to not be rude about that. It's just, it's just not a good offer. Um, this one here, uh, $70 is too much for this. I don't have to plug this in and waste your guys' time because uh, I've seen this so many times. I can kind of snap the process here. Um, yeah, uh, the, 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 that's, a, that's a no from me. But but worth noting, the chicken is rank 10, rank 5 chicken is very good for newer players. So I guess maybe like a newer player who's a whale, sure, it'd be okay in that circumstance. But again, for 95% of you, this is not going to be one you're going to want to scoop up. The crit rate set, um, I like the $15 for a full set of legendary along with some energy. But uh, I can't even really mention the 450,000 silver. That's like, you know, 10 upgrade chances of a banner. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I, I would like to see this be like six or seven bucks. And then and then we're talking, but uh, they are, the gear set offers have gotten better in the last few months. I will admit that, but there's still not something I would really throw money at in my opinion. So let me put that away. And that is going to kind of do it for this video. Uh, just to kind of summarize, I am super excited to be back and interacting with you guys. I'm happy. The hard part of my move is over, and I apologize for not being super active in streaming and videos and uh, you know doing the type of content that my subscribers were used to in the last year, but I am back now and more dedicated than ever, I promise. So yeah, as always, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.